All right. Somebody digs a pit. Somebody goes to fetch wood, matches and everything. So do need light it. Baba says then, all right, sing Upasni Maharaj's Aarti. We used to sing Upasni Maharaj's Aarti then. So we all sing. We all start singing. And while singing, it starts drizzling. We got wet, including Baba. That's why in the song of Dhuni, Baba himself has said, in the, in the song of Dhuni, you know, that you wetted my coat and... Uh, Coat and shirt. Hmm? And be obedient to the master. He tells, the master tells the dhuni that be obedient to the master. The dhuni was obedient to the master. His heat melted the skies and brought down rain. Huh? The master ordained, you listen to me. Duni obeyed and in the process everybody got wet including the master. The master didn't try to hide away from that. Avoid it. That's his. Duni is his, raid is his, we are his. Huh? Why should he avoid it? Oh no. A perfect master doesn't do that. A perfect master. Who is a perfect master? A perfect master is he, Vivekananda said, a perfect master is he who comes down to the level of the student and teaches. This master of ours was on a high pedestal. Yes, he was the king, but he came down to the level of the students and taught. Hmm? He, he mixed with his slaves. He sat down with his slaves, he ate with his slaves, and yet he was the king. That's the mortal master. Not a big boss-like thing, you know, strutting along in that ego. Ah, he had the ego, but the an ego, I'm God. That's the only ego a perfect master has got, otherwise he has none. He has come to eliminate our egos. And could he possess ego? Could you have an ego yourself and eliminate somebody else's? That's hypocrisy. Huh? Only if it's divine. Only a perfect master could do that, mister. And it's very difficult to understand. You ask me. Now how will you understand it? Hmm? Mansur said, Anal Haq. I am God. Yes, that was his ego. What else can he say? Can you tell me? When the drop has gone into the ocean, it does not remain drop. It is the ocean. So what should the ocean say? I am that. Hmm? Yes. Can he say anything else? As like you. If I ask you who are you, you can say I am a woman. I will say I am a man. What else can you say? So in the right manner. Hmm. The ocean says, I am that. I am unlimited. <coughs> hmm? Yes. So, the master has got the divine ego. God has got divine ego. I am God. What else will he say? Right? So, in like manner, you know, the master, although he has the divine ego, he is on the highest pedestal. He came down to the level of the students and taught. Mm. That's a real master and we experienced it. But we, the slaves, always remain within our bounds. Mm. We couldn't over, over jump our boundary. Slave was a slave, the king a king, although he sat. He commanded respect. Not that he demanded respect, mind you. He never demanded, he commanded. And we had to give that. And that's mm. how you behave. You ask me the question. Mm. Mm. Hmm? Yes. You give all due respect to the master, the highest of the high. How will you give it? 
not by stretching your legs towards him or not by trying to pat him on the face or on his cheek or pulling his cheeks, you know. Oh no. How would you behave before a king today? How would you behave before your president? Hmm? With due respect, won't you? Yes. And does he, does the perfect master not deserve a respect? Huh? So why do you ask? But doesn't he... Why do you understand that much? But doesn't he... Hmm? Doesn't he allow a little bit more familiarity in the sense that a king, his ego is attached like, hey, you're my subject, you're way below me. But doesn't God, although he, there is a gap in the station between us, but he allows that familiarity with him of letting us at least feel that oneness with him, camaraderie. The feeling of what? That... He is just one of us, a companion, as he... Didn't I say that he steps down from the highest pedestal and sits with you and eats, hmm. washes your clothes, attends to you when sick? Hmm? What more do you want? He is worrying constantly about you, about your welfare, material as well as spiritual. He sins. He looks to the spiritual, you wouldn't forsake the material benefit. If you are sick, you will see that you get the medicine, you get the diet, you are nursed all right, you sleep well, there is no noise, or you, if you are too restless, then he will attend to it, he will call the doctor. Hmm. Hmm? That's how the master is, is <laughs> Well, what should I say, you know? It's, it's to be experienced, as yeah. I said, you know. But God, as man, acted perfectly, just perfectly like a man. Mm. So Francis has said in his song, who wears a coat when it is cold and pulls it out when it is hot. Mm. Just like a normal human being. Yet he sleeps and he doesn't sleep. The sleep of unconsciousness. Mm. Just that song, you know, is so beautifully written. Just in my way, keep on reading it. Keep on reading it over and over again. Just don't sing it. Hmm. Try to get the meaning of it. Francis has mentioned correctly. Hmm. Yes. He is with us and above us. But Kaka, you mentioned you stress obedience very heavily. Yes. But in our... Not I. Yeah, the, the master ma says that. But in our obedience to him, yes. how much scope or room is given to our expression of individuality? None. As far as Baba's work is and Baba's orders are concerned, there is no liberty for you. There is a line drawn and you walk on that. You won't deviate from the rut. Hmm. Mind you, I am saying it now, we did make mistakes, but we were hauled up. Hmm. Not that we became saints, you know. You understand? We are ordinary human beings, hmm. liable to commit mistakes. We did. We are forgiven, but a due warning, don't do that again. We dare not do it. Dare not do it. It became so ingrained in us that we dare not do it. Say, Baba says, go up the hill hmm? Hmm. and give a message or see, a, see what that man is doing. All right, double, go up. See that man and come back. That's that. Mm. We cannot ask the master, you know, it's a religion. It's a trick. Really, you never question the master. He tells you to fast. And he tells me to eat seven times a day. I can't ask him. Why? Why do you tell me to eat seven times a day and why do you ask him to fast? Oh no. My job is to obey him, that's all. It is between you and the master, me and the master. I have got nothing to do with you. I am not your guide. 
I am being guided, you are being guided and the guide is one. So, one medicine is for you and one medicine is for me. The same medicine doesn't go for everybody. You see? Yeah. Eh? But you came. It's this not like driving a cattle mm. with the same stick, you know. Mm. That's how we put it in, uh, in our own language. A cowherd or a shepherd has got one stick and drives all the cattle, you know, with one stick. But no, sir. But this is such a mature attitude. You came to him when you were only 18 years old. How were you ready to dedicate your life like this? He made me ready. Not I. With his help, I was ready. How does a child learn to walk? Not until the parent gives the hand. Hmm? Falls, trips, up again. All right, come on. It is he who helped us. Had he not wanted us, out, out, and we saw plenty of them go out. Mm.